Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com Today's tutorial is to look at the autofill feature within Microsoft Excel. Now the autofill feature is just another way of copying cells and their contents within Microsoft Excel. As you can see on the sheet I have open at the moment, in cell A1 I have some text entered. In column B we have some values or some numbers and then in column C and D we have some different dates. We're just going to run through some different autofill techniques and what that will give you and how it can be used to improve uh, your data entry and the way that you use Excel. Starting off with the text that we have. I select cell A1. To use the autofill technique it is to grab this tiny black square that appears in the bottom right hand corner of that cell you see your mouse cursor will turn into a thin black cross when you do so and it's just a click and drag down and you see it will copy the contents of the cell so in this case the word banana has now appeared five times that's all well and good just like copy and paste would do but maybe slightly quicker where the uh, all the good stuff really comes in is looking at the numbers now in column B if I select both cells numbers 3 and 6 and use the same technique, you'll notice that Excel and its autofill technique will follow the sequence. So 3 to 6, realises to go up every 3, there's the 9, 12 and so on. We'll do a similar thing when working with dates. So looking at the date in uh, C1 here, if I autofill that down, Excel will realise that we'll work with the date here. You can see it says date up in my number group where the cell is formatted and therefore it picks up each day and happily jump to the 21st and the 22nd and so on. Now when you copy anything within Excel or fill anything you'll get one of these little smart tags appear. This one giving us some autofill options. If I click on there it's going to be very different options as to how I'd want to copy uh, the contents of cell C1. Now obviously this is focusing on the fact that we're working with a date so you get some really good options in here such as fill weekdays and if I choose that you can see the way it jumps from the 22nd of April to the 25th leapfrogging the Saturday and the Sunday uh, so only focusing on working days I may change that to months you see it will jump from the 20th of April to the 20th of May to the 20th of June and so on maybe I'll just change it back to the normal fill series whether its default action is, which is to go daily. Now you get similar options when working with numbers and text as well, maybe not as exciting as what you kind of get with dates, but just different aspects of what you want to copy, whether you want the formatting or not, whether you want it to follow a series or copy the same cells, this kind of stuff. The last thing I wanted to show you with autofill is similar to the numbers, we now have two dates in a sequence, two days difference between them and if I was to copy that down you'll notice Excel will follow that sequence and that's going from the 24th of April to the 26th and so on hope you like these instructions to the autofill technique hope you find it very useful when having to enter data in Excel and find out what options you get and how you can uh, it could be best served for you okay check out our other video tutorials uh, at computergargod.com, uh, find us on our channel on YouTube and on Facebook, and hope to see you again soon.